Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to do an infographic in Excel. Now this infographic looks nothing like our traditional graphs and charts in Excel, so let's get started and we'll show you how it works. Hello, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn, where I help you finally learn financial literacy, including Excel. So here's what we need to do. We need to start with our little basic data set, and we're going to do, we're going to graph stack one, stack two, we're going to do a stacked column, and then on the top of that we'll, we'll graph a, a symbol or a, um, a graphic where it looks different than just a regular graph. Now one thing we want to do is let's change the Midwest to MW because it is going to be an infograph, not a lot of data on there, not a lot of uh, words and big numbers. Southeast is SE, NW for Northwest, and then E for East. And let's change this formatting. It's in millions of dollars. So what we can do is we can go to more number formats. We'll go to custom. And we can type in. So here's what I want. I want a dollar sign. I want to put a, the number, whatever that number is. So I'm going to use the hashtag here. And then a period and then a zero because I want to force a, a decimal. And then a comma for the millions and a comma for the hundred thousands. And then a space, a double quote, an M, and a double quote. So it's going to convert the 2,285,000 to 2.3 M for million. So that's going to make our graphic a uh, little bit easier to read. Real simple here. So on stack two, we're going to arbitrarily pick, and I had to play around with it a little bit. I picked 800,000. And so 800,000 is going to be the um, top of the column, and we'll graph a symbol, and we want that number to be the same for all of them, so the symbol looks exactly the same on the top. It'll be very uniform. So stack one is going to be the 2.3 million minus the 800,000, and that'll be 1,485, and then we'll copy it down. Now, one of the things that happens is this is dynamic, so if I make this east 4,500,000, do you see what happens? It highlights in blue here, it highlights the largest one. Obviously the, the graph is dynamic, but the highlighting is dynamic. It highlights the largest one, draws your attention to the color. So let's go back and make this works if we do max one and max two, so we're only going to pick the largest, which is going to be the southeast, the 2.6 million. So we need to do an if statement. So if, start my parentheses, if the 2.3 million is equal to the max of this entire column, this little range, I need to make it absolute. And then close the parentheses. If it is, then we're going to grab the 1,485. If it's not, then we'll put zero. And let's test our work. It should show up for the southeast. And 1,786,000. We do the same thing for max two, except we're going to grab the 800,000 based on the largest one in that column. So the same kind of calculation if the 2.3 is equal to the max of this entire range, make it absolute, and if it is, then we grab the 800,000. If it's not, then we put zero. All right, so let's uh, copy that down, and you'll see that it's working where this is dynamic. This is going to graph this as a different color. These will be graphed as gray. So let's check our work. Let's put 4.5 million again. And so you see that's dynamic. It's going to pick east. Okay, so now it's time for our graph. By the way, I learned this technique from Layla Garani. And I'm going to put a link below to her video where she showed how to do that infographic. Hers is a little bit different, but, but her technique is very creative and very good. So you ought to watch that video after you watch this one. So we're going to highlight everything here and go to Insert. And I'm going to go to the Column. And the next one over is a stacked column. So now we have a stacked column. I'm going to put it underneath here. I'm going to make it a little bigger so we can work with it. And so if we right click, I'm going to select the data. 
And do you see it has total sales, stack one, stack two? I want to graph it by Midwest and Southeast. So I need to switch the column in the rows. So now we have total sales. We don't want to calculate uh, and actually graph total sales. I want to delete that. And so now we have Midwest, Southeast, Northeast, uh, Northwest rather, and East. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these together where they're the same color, make these gray, and make this one where it is blue, and so that's going to be dynamic. Now, the way we need to do this is I'm going to select the yellow, which is the 1,786,000 in the max column, the max one. And I'm going to go over here, and at my format data series, I'm going to say that's my secondary axis. Now, everything's kind of hidden, so I need to go back and find my secondary vertical axis and then the blue also needs to be on the secondary axis okay so here's what we have if we go back we we're now getting where it's dynamic four million five hundred thousand for east you see it switches and the colors so we need to work with the colors a little bit so we're going to put if i select it one time it selects all the stack one that, that bottom stack. So I'm going to go back and look at a color. And the color I'm going to put is a light gray. So that is our light gray color. Whatever color you uh, think works. And then also, we don't want a line, so I'm going to take off the line around the border. No line around the border. And then for the one that is going to be the highlighted, let's make it, uh, I made it some kind of blue color. So you may not be able to see, but you can pick whatever color you want. Um, no line around the border. And pick the same color for the top and make, their, make sure there's no line. Okay, so this is our basic format here. And we're going to say, we're going to click where all these on the bottom. We're going to say add a data label. And it's going to add the, the 1 million number. We don't want that. We want to add the um, the north um, uh, the northwest and the east and so on. So let's go and find the text options here. The label options. So we don't want the value. We want the category name. So it'll say MW for Midwest, SE for Southeast, and so on. And let's put it on the inside the base at the bottom. We can make this larger. A lot of times I change the font just so it's a different font. Let me make it 20. Um, let me make it where it is um, white, where you can see it easily. It looks like a infograph here. Now, because we have this, we don't need the uh, labels at the bottom. We don't need it to say stack one and stack two. Now at the top, what we can do is we can put in the numbers. We can put add a data label. We'll put in the numbers. And we want the numbers, and this is um, a little bit different. We want to point to the numbers. And so we'll go here, and we want to point to the number 2.3 million and hit enter. We're going to point to this number. We need to go to the formula bar and hit equals 2.6 million and hit enter. This 800,000, now it's graphing the number that's in that top stack and that's why it pulled the 800,000. But we don't want that. We want to show the 1.9 million for the northwest. And then for the east, we want the 2.0 million. Okay, so now those are functioning correctly. We're going to make this a little bit larger. And we'll make it um, where it is white. Bold, we make it a little bit, uh, we, we'll widen the columns here. Show you how to do that. So one of the things we want to do is, I'm going to highlight and click everything. We have a gap width. I want to make the gap width, um, let's say 75. And you see what happens, it's going to make the entire columns wider. So here, gap width 75. And so it perfectly, the blue perfectly covers the gray. We can make this bold. 
Now we're really close to finishing. We just need to put the top on it here. We're gonna get rid of these, these um, axis grid lines. We can just hit delete. This number, the legend on the left, we don't need it. We can hit delete. We can, on the chart title, we can say, I'm gonna change the font, make it a bigger font. We can type in sales by region. On this, the sales by region, we don't need the, the lines. We can get rid of the line. So now this looks like an infograph. And let me show you the trick to make the top um, unique. Well, the top, remember, is the 800,000 every time. So we need to graph a, a shape. So once you get here, the last thing I would do is graph a shape. So go to Insert and Shapes, and we can do several. Now, um, Layla Garani did the this shape, and she turned it that way, and you graph a little dome on top of each column. That's excellent. Um, the one I'm going to do is I'm going to go Insert and Shape, and then I'm going to find the one it is under the block arrows. I'm going to grab a block arrow and make a little shape and I need to turn it about 270 degrees so it's going to be it's going to make a little uh, pointed roof on top of the uh, this column. Now so here I want to get rid of the line and I need to make one that's the gray color that I did that's the same gray that I did and then I need to copy and paste, and I need to make one the exact blue color that I did. And so there's the blue color that I did. So I'm going to click on the top, copy, and select the all the grays and put paste. And do you see what happens? It put a shape there. I'm going to copy the blue and click on the blue here and paste and what we have is this is a graphic that works. This is an infographic so let's check. So if we change it to 4.5 million then the infographic changes everything's updated and that's a really smooth way to show data in Excel and a lot of people they would be kind of really surprised that you have everything uh, that you've done this in Excel. Now we have about a hundred videos on the channel so keep watching and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks!